Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 9 o'clock Mass this Saturday, November 5, uh, 2022. Um, let's all begin in a few minutes. We'll start. Good morning once again. Um, again, welcome to St. Augustine Catholic Church. Today is Saturday, November 5, 9 a.m. Mass, and we offer this Mass for the following intentions. For the deceased, Father Juan Mores, Father Nady Corrales, Lucy Atanasio, Alan Rue, Rosalia Babaran, Rufina Babaran, Bonifacio Garcia Sr., Gloria Sejalvo, Anastasia Ibe, Evelyn Mobo, Zacharias Manserate, Maria and Thomas Mobo Sr., Lorenzo Ferrer, Abraham Bernarte, Pantaleon R. Quevedo, All Souls in Purgatory, deceased members of Presidium Mary Mediatrix of All Graces, Karma Dreyfus, Montano Suma Sr., and Maxine Francesca Cabala. For the healing of Kingsley Escanio, Rihanna and Jesus Bautista, Josie Kalimlim. We also remember the birthdays of Archbishop John Wester, Cleo Rabellas, Taylor Yee, Jamison Bantai, Jordi Bantai, Michael P. Diaz, Mirasol Capio, Sherry Liana Magana, Leia Avedano, and Amy Abar. For the Thanksgiving of Noah Artamiel Gonzalez, Lourdes Quevedo, Maduli family, and Sheila Maduli. And also for the following intentions of Asen Lu, Nikki, Claudette, Sagun, and family.
Good morning. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Yes. Brothers and sisters, let's call to mind our sins so that we'll be prepared to celebrate this Eucharist. And today we pray the proper of the Blessed Virgin Mary in this Mass. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that now at last you revive your concern for me. You were, of course, concerned about me, but lack an opportunity. Not that I say this because of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I find myself to be self-sufficient. I know indeed how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I have the strength for everything through him who empowers me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. You Philippians indeed know that at the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, not a single church shared with me in an account of giving and receiving, except you alone. For even when I was at Thessalonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I am eager for the gift, rather, I am eager for the profit that accrues to your account. I have received full payment, and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I received from you through Epaphroditus, a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just shall be in everlasting remembrance. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Please rise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was sick, he was rich, so that by his poverty he might become rich. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourself with this honest wealth, so that when it fails, you will be welcome into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If therefore you are not trustworthy with this honest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, what will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted in one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. The Pharisees who loved money heard all these things and he sneered at him. And he said to them, you justify yourself in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we go to the conclusion of the letter of Paul to the Philippians. And as you know, I've been repeating it that this is one of the favorite communities of uh, Paul, there is some kind of warmth and friendship between them. It's not that he discriminate the other communities because Paul, according to modern scholars, Paul have traveled about 12,000 miles in 50 towns in his missionary journey. He was the greatest, or he is the greatest of all missionaries of all time. Nobody beats him. And so Philippians was the first community that ever visited in Macedonia. And his first convert were, or was a lady. And he was, uh, she was a rich uh, dealer of, uh, fine uh, cloth, and his, her name is Lydia, and she was the first convert. Woman, you know, woman at that time doesn't, he's always a second-class citizen. And later on, the Philippians were mixed with other people, people who probably were poor, they were not business people, people who probably are not, were not professional, and people who probably were beggars, and who did not have any much education. In the words of James Joyce, Catholicism means they are all coming together. Well, that's the definition of being Catholic, being coming, coming together, coming together. And that's what the church is today. The conclusion of the words of Paul is that this community of the Philippians became, in his words, a fragrant aroma and acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. So, what do you think of St. Augustine? Is it a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God? We're, the, we're a mixture of everybody. We are a people coming together. 
because we are composed of everybody here. People who have money, who does not have much money, people who lost their jobs, who are retired, elderly, young people, people who favor abortion, people who are pro-life and pro-choice, people who love Latin mass, people who just are ordinary people, who just come and say hi and then go home. But they are Catholics, so we are a community of immigrants and non-immigrants. Of course, basically we are all immigrants, but sometimes we did not like the immigrants. They think they are a burden to our tax system or to our wealth as a nation or people who are poor, people who are permanent underclass, but they are still a church. So ask yourself, are we that community which Paul is saying, the St. Augustine community, or our local church, the Archdiocese of San Francisco, do you think that we are a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God? Or your family, your clan, your relatives and friends, you know, especially if they are educated, they have different opinions, different persuasion, politically, religiously, people who come to church, people who do not come to church, people who do not believe in God and who believes in God. How do we accommodate them? But they are still part of that community of the baptized community that God created. But that being a fragrant aroma means that we are able to have patience, tolerance, and be able to be synodal. Synodal means we are able to listen to each other. We don't have to defeat each other in argumentation. We don't have to debate who is, the great, who is great, who is lesser, who is uh, better, who is worse. No, we just have to listen to each other. We don't have to debate who is Republican, who is Democrat. What matters is, do we respect each other's uh, humanity or as human beings? That is what matters more with God. How do we, uh, in the gospel today, how do we exercise our stewardship? How do we prepare for that coming age at the end of our life? Do we think? that we are prepared for that, the way we manage our money, the way we manage our property. Is that what matters? Because God always wishes us to be respectful of each other, to be more patient and more tolerant and more forgiving. And that is what the Eucharist is all about. This is my body, this is my blood. He sacrificed his life in order for us to realize that God is not only being searched by us, but God searches for us. We do not only go nearer to God, but God comes nearer to us. Please rise. Trusting in the strength of Christ, our Savior, we offer our needs with confidence to the Father. For the church, may God give us the grace to manifest his kingdom by our actions and by our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For all public authorities, leaders, of nations and governments, and those entrusted with the welfare of their people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For people who are isolated by illness or age, may God's presence bring them consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this community of faith, may God give us the grace to live as citizens of heaven 
and children of light, let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially Father Juan Morris, Father Nady Corrales, Lucy Atanasio, Alan Rue, Rosalia Babaran, Rufina Babaran, Bonifacio Garcia Sr., Gloria Sejalvo, Anastasia Ibe, Evelyn Mobo, Zacharias Manzarate, Maria and Thomas Mobo Sr., Lorenzo Ferrer, Abraham Bernarte, Pantaleon R. Cavedo, All Souls in Purgatory, deceased members of Presidium Mary Mediatrix of all, age, of all graces, Karma Dreyfus, Montano Sunga Sr., and Maxine Francesca Cabala. May they be brought into eternal glory with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the healing of Kingsley Escanio, Rihanna and Jesus Bautista, Josie Kalimlin, let us pray to the Lord. For the birthdays of Archbishop John Wester, Cleo Rabellas, Taylor Yee, Jamison Bantai, Jorty Bantai, Michael P. Diaz, Marisol Capio, Sherry Liana Magana, Leah Avedano, and Emmy Abar, let us pray to the Lord. For the thanksgiving of Noah Artamiel Gonzalez, Lourdes Cavedo, Maduli family, and Sheila Maduli, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for the special intentions of Asen Lu and Nikki Claudette Sagun and family, let us pray to the Lord. I would like also to add the intention of Monsignor uh, Romulo Bergara for, uh, so that he will have an immediate recovery from his surgery. We pray to the Lord. Lord and now in silence, let us pray for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. And now, let us conclude with the intercession of the Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, love grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amount women. Blessed is the fruit of thy own, Jesus. Pray for us sinners now and at our pardon. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. And let us pray. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son, Grant, we pray that through this most holy exchange, 
we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, of honorable holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you. And eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, with all the bishops and the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We especially remember Father Mon Morris, Father Nadi Corrales, Monsignor Romulo, uh, uh, Lucy Atanasio, Alan Ro, Rosalia Babaran, Rufina Babaran, Bonifacio Garcia Sr., Gloria Sialbo, Anastasio Ibe, eh, Belin Mobo, Zacarias Manzarate, Maria and Tomas Moro Sr., Mobo Sr., Lorenzo Ferrer, Abraham Bernarte Pantalion, Arquevedo, also in Burgatory. Karma Dreyfus Montano Songa Sr. and Maxine Francisca Caballa and all those who have died. Welcome them into the light of your face of mercy on us all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints of Christ throughout the ages, we may marry to be caused to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer it Saturday, sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Renewed with the heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's have now the prayer for the dead. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear our prayer and console us as we renew our faith in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our hope that all our departed brothers and sisters will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Eternal rest run to them, O Lord. And may they rest in peace. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And before I give you my blessing, I would like to thank our expert uh, reader to the Eucharistic minister and to the ATV ministry. I don't know if we are able to broadcast it because we don't have the internet. Our internet is down. And thanks to our altar servers and sacristan and to all of you who are here today. Thank you for being here this morning. And say hi to those who uh, participate with us through live streaming. Hi. They saw us. We did not see them. The Lord be with you. And may the Lord God bless us all, the Father and the Son, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and preach the gospel of the Lord. Thank you. Have a nice day.